barbarian, magician, thief, cavalier, and acrobat. Who was that? That was Venger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. like we're eating berries again. Hey, look! I caught something! Help me pull it in! Oh, boy! Filet of soul! Or maybe shrimp cocktail! Or better yet, caviar! It's bigger than I thought! Maybe lunch for seven? Monster's bite is poisonous. I hope there's a cure. Come on, we've got to find Dungeon Master. Hank, sis, I I gotta rest. He's got a fever. What do we do now? I don't suppose there's a drugstore around here. No, ah. Cavalier, there is not. <gasps> Dungeon Master. You've got to make Bobby well. I wish it were that easy. But this is nature's doing, and I'm afraid my, my magic cannot undo it. It requires a natural remedy. There must be something we can do. We can't just let him get worse. The only cure is the foot of a yellow dragon. Oh, great. What are we supposed to do? Waltz up to a yellow dragon and ask to borrow his foot? Eric, shh. Where do we find the yellow dragon? To the north, in the garden of Queen Zin. Ah! 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 He's gone again? Come on, we're heading north. Yeah, well, I hope there's something to eat in this garden. I'm still starving. Forget about your stomach, Eric. Let's go. Zen. Have you news for me, Stalker? Yes, Your Majesty, I have. A suitable knight has entered the realm, one who is fit to be your king. Are you certain, Stalker? Can this one survive the trial of the worm? Yes, my queen. He carries a magic weapon given him by Dungeon Master. Excellent. Bring him to me. I must have a king soon, or the spell will be broken and I will lose my throne. As you wish, Queen Zen. You sure this is the right way, Hank? I don't see a sign of dragons anywhere. I don't know, Presto, but we've got to keep looking. Well, I can't look on an empty stomach. I gotta find some food. Just take it easy, Bobby. We'll find the antidote, Bobby, and have you all better really soon. Thanks. 
guys. There must be something edible around here. Holy cow! I must be dreaming! Hello? Anybody belong to this food here? No. Good. Oh, well, you had your chance to claim it. Ah! Help! It's Eric! No! Get away from me! Hank! Quick! Get it before it gets me! No! Don't shoot! I mean you no harm! He's lying! Let him have it! He was going to steal my food! Me? No way! I was just going to borrow it. Who are you? My name is Sir Lars. Take it. I have plenty. Thanks. Let's take some of this to Bobby. The boy is very ill. He should not be moved. Bring him to my house. He can rest there. Oh, come on. You gonna trust a guy who looks like that? So Lars is right. I'll stay here with Bobby until you guys find the Garden of Zin. Zin? Yes. The Dungeon Master told us we could find the antidote there. Dungeon Master is wrong. You will only find evil in the Garden of Zin. You know where it is? You gotta tell us. No. But my brother is sick. If he doesn't get the antidote... Very well. Beyond the dark forest, beyond the Valley of Smoke, that way. Be careful, Sheila. We'll return as soon as we can. That's got to be the Valley of Smoke. But I don't see any garden. Yeah, and Solaris didn't say anything about a fork in the road. I knew we couldn't trust that creep. He's probably selling Bobby and Sheila to Venger at this very minute. You think we should go back? No, no. Always go forward. Just follow the road to the south. Well, why didn't you tell us that before? You didn't ask. Come on, let's get this disaster over with. Hang on, Eric. Don't you notice anything strange? Strange? We're walking through the Valley of Smoke looking for pickled dragon's feet? What, what could be strange? No, I mean about Dungeon Master. He's not talking in riddles. Yeah. Say, DM old buddy, uh, mind if I ask you a question? Not at all. Uh, what's the name you gave me when I got the shield? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! Ha! It's Cavalier, you phony baloney! Well done, Cavalier. I'm pleased to see you weren't fooled by this imposter. Don't listen to him. He's the imposter. <laughs> so, you want to challenge my magic? Very well. Hey, who's who? We've got to help Dungeon Master. Yeah, but which one? Now, foolish one, I'll teach you never to impersonate me. Hank, wait! You might get the wrong... I'm the real Dungeon Master. He's the imposter. He'll destroy you. He's evil. Very clever, but it will gain you nothing. Wow. What was he? A phantom stalker. And he'll think twice about bothering you again. Tell me, Ranger, how did you know that creature was not the real Dungeon Master? You taught us to use force only to defend ourselves. That imposter had you down, but he kept coming. You learn quickly, very quickly. Which is the right road, Dungeon Master? The right road is not the left. That's the real Dungeon Master, all right. He means take the right fork, not the left. We don't have time to waste. Come on. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> I'm right here, Bobby. I'm cold. Fire needs more wood. There must be something around here I can use as a blanket. Sir Lars, what's this? Never touch that! What would a creature, I mean, someone like you, be doing with a king's robe and crown? They belong to someone gone now, never to return. Well? This will keep the boy warm. Thank 
you, Sir Lars. I don't get it. Dungeon Master said this road would take us right to the Garden of Zin. If this was a garden, someone should definitely fire the gardener. Hey, what's the... Who knows? Let's just get out of here. Thunder! Trouble, young ones? Dungeon Master, are we ever glad to see you? Get us out of here! No! It's the imposter again! I knew it all along! There's the real Dungeon Master! Your powers of observation are improving, Cavalier. Unfortunately, <gasps> they still leave much to be desired. Perhaps you will not survive the trial of the worm after all. All goes as planned, Queen Zen. Then the young knight will face the trial of the worm. Soon, my queen. Very soon. Yeah, but where? And where's Eric? Oh! oh! What's this? The local subway? Diana, worms! Yeah! Worms? Those phantom stalkers said something about the trial of the worm. Don't think about it. Let's get out of here and find that cure for Bobby. be something we can do to help him. No, only if your friends find the cure. <laughs> These look like chemicals or medicines. You're not a doctor, are you? Or a wizard? No, I've studied much about magic, but I'm no wizard. But I don't understand why you... Silence! Ask me no more! Forgive me. The spell makes me lose control. Spell? You're under some kind of spell? You can do nothing for me. No one can. Save your concern for your brother. Oh. What on earth could have dug a tunnel like this? Who cares? I just want to get out. What's the matter, Presto? <laughs> There's something up my sleeve. Uh, yeah, it's another worm. What was that? Oh, no. I just figured out what dug this tunnel. Well, what? Worms. Worms? These little things? No, that big thing. Yeah! I think it's their mother. Yeah! What the? Dead end. on giant worms. I don't know how much longer I can take this crazy world. We'll take a look at this. That must be the Garden of Zen. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's find that yellow dragon. You have survived the trial of the worm. Queen Zen requests your presence at once. Yeah! Yeah! I hope my servants were not rude with you. Uh, who are you? And what do you want with us? I am Queen Zin, and I have need of a king. Someone to rule my kingdom with me. I have chosen you. Me? Him? Him? Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh No way. Sorry, but I'm trying to get out of this world. I don't want to settle down in it. Why not let your friends continue the search? <laughs> 
while you share the wealth of my throne with me. Wealth? On well, second thought, L listen, guys, if, if I'm gonna be trapped in this world, why not be trapped in style? But what about Bobby? Oh, yeah. Listen, Queen, I'll be your king. But first, tell my friends where to find the yellow dragon. Our friend is sick. We need to slay the dragon and get its foot for the cure. Slay the dragon? <laughs> Follow me into the garden. Behold, the yellow dragon. And this is its foot. Thanks. You sure you want to stay, Eric? Beat scrounging for berries every day. Come back and visit when Bobby's better. You can even bring back that creep, Salars. Salars? Follow them. See that they never reach Salars. Yes, my queen. Once I have my king, my spell can never be broken. Salars' place is just ahead. I hope we found the cure in time. <laughs> This path is forbidden to you. You may come no farther. Guess that's that, Hank. Guess so. Okay, there's gotta be a spell for this. Abra, Zabra, Prefabra. Phantom Sucker! This is Zen's dream. My friends, they're in trouble. Rejoice, O kingdom of Zen, on this day of your king's coronation. Cavalier, do you accept Zen as your queen and promise to be her king for eternity? I do. And to protect the kingdom from dragons and barbarian invaders. Oh, and well. to perform the ritual dance with the serpent of fire, to battle the giant two-headed ogre, to... Hold it! Is this a coronation or a disaster movie? Well, it's merely part of the ceremony. Continue. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, Queen of Zen! I can be some help after all. Sheila, we got the cure. Oh, oh no, we're done for. Release them, stalkers, or you'll never leave this forest. Salars, perhaps we should finish you too. As a present for Queen Sim. special, Bobby. Yeah, just doing some gardening. Is the boy well? Yes, Sir Lars. He... <gasps> Sir Lars? Not Sir Lars. My name is Sir Lawrence, heir to the throne of Zen, until my sister's evil magic turned me into that creature. It was your tear of gratitude that broke her spell. You don't mean Queen Zen. But Eric's about to become her king. Well, at least she's beautiful. Not for long. With the spell on me broken, the one who cast it becomes its victim. Poor Eric. By the laws of this kingdom, I now pronounce you man and... Monster! I quit! No, it can't be! I was so close! So close! You will not reconsider, Sheila? I'm honored you asked me to be your queen. But my friends and I have to find a way back home. Well spoken, Sheila. Done 
Dungeon Master. You have seen the true person beneath his monstrous appearance. You should be proud. Speaking of which, I see right through you, Mr. Imposter. Caution, Cavalier. I am the real Dungeon Master. If you're the real Dungeon Master, then I'm a blue-nosed baboon. <laughs> a blue-nosed baboon? What a strange choice. What's so funny? So I made a little mistake. Come on, Dungeon Master, change me back. I was just kidding. I knew it was you all along. 